Hey guys, it's boy Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're among the many iPhone users that no matter what you do, it seems like your iPhone's battery is always dying extremely quickly, then this video is going to be for you. So no matter if you update your iPhone to the latest OS, if you downgrade to a previous OS, your battery just continues to die extremely quickly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to obtain secret information that's hitting in your iPhone that Apple doesn't necessarily want you to see. I'm going to show you how to find the battery cycle count. And battery cycle counts are important because this could determine if your iPhone's battery could be replaced for free, if it needs replacement, and so much more. Now, of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software, for updates don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i want to do is talk about battery cycles and how they work so the first thing is going over into apple's website here and let's take a look on how battery cycles actually work so apple explains that if you use a hundred percent of your battery that equals to one battery cycle but not everyone uses from zero to a hundred or from a hundred to zero every single day right you may use 75 percent of your battery today you plug in your iphone you charge it to 100 and then tomorrow you use another 20 those two days combined equal to 100 which means that's one battery cycle now apple makes that very clear and i'll link this in the description down below but apple also talks about warranty within your iphone so they explain here that a normal battery is designed to retain up to 80 percent of its original capacity at 500 completed charging cycles right so right here operating under normal conditions now the one year warranty includes a service coverage for defective batteries so if in one year you have have over 500 charging cycles completed and below 80% of battery health on your iPhone or your iPhone's battery just simply isn't holding its charge, you may be entitled to a free replacement. Now this iPhone here has 94% of battery. I do upgrade my iPhones every year. I haven't encountered over 500% or 500 battery charging cycles on any of my devices, but I'm going to show you how to obtain this information in case you needed it for future reference. Now to obtain the battery charging cycles, you have to go into settings, you have to go into privacy, and this is sort of a secret menu or secret option that you can enable here under analytics and improvements. If you go to analytics data, make sure that right here, share iPhone analytics has been enabled for you for several days or else you won't be able to get access to this data. Once you enter this particular secret portion of the OS, this is where the battery cycle count actual number lies. So right here, you want to swipe down on all these numbers and letters that you see here. You want to tap on the top here and you want to type in log dash aggregate. Okay, so aggregate. There it is. It's already coming up right there. It's populating. Now you see these dates here. So it says 2021 and then it says November 7th, November 8th, and November 10th. Well, I'm going to choose November 10th, which is today. That's going to be the latest one. And what I want to do here is swipe down and then press and hold to bring up the copy and paste menu. I'm going to bring this all the way to the top. Now, quick uh, side note, if you're in beta, this is not going to work for you for some reason. Go ahead and slide all the way to the bottom of the screen and make sure you copy the entire text or if it's any easier, you can also go to the bottom of the screen first and then swipe all the way up. Sometimes it's easier that way. So I'm going to go ahead and tap and hold right here and then bring this all the way to the bottom. Here we go. And then bring this all the way to the top so that I can copy all this text you see right here. So let's go all the way to the top right there. And you see that the copy and text menu shows up and I can copy all this information. So tap here and let's click on copy. There it is. Now we copied all this information. Now you want to head on over into notes and create a brand new note and then paste all that information in there. Once we paste the information, it could take several seconds. Again, if you're in beta, for some reason, this will not work. Once you paste all the information, you want to tap on these three dots here on the top, and then you want to click on find in notes. Now this option is going to come up this search bar here, and we're going to type in battery cycle. And as you can see right there, as I'm typing away, it already shows up. So battery cycle count should be right below, right? Right there so battery cycle count this one is the one that you're looking for right there again make sure you type it in the search bar and it says here that this iPhone has a hundred and ninety seven completed battery cycles now if yours says over 500 within a year and your battery just isn't holding up then this means you could be entitled to a replacement of your battery absolutely free if not this is also a good indication that your iPhone may need a new battery and that's everything I wanted to share with you guys now keep in 
mind that battery cycle counts don't tell the entire story, but it could help you determine if you're going to need a new battery uh, in the future or at the moment. Uh, let me know what you think about this hidden little secret within iOS in your iPhone. Are you going to be using this? Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.